All right, so today we're going to be talking about how to create a blur in editing. And so usually I use a very low f-stop when I'm taking pictures, and so it naturally creates a blur, as you can see in these trees or in these rocks. But where you can't get a blur is when they're on the same level. So notice how these two little gremlins are on the ground, and so they're pretty much at the same level as the grass, so you don't get any blur naturally. So that is something I want you to think about when you're choosing your picture. Is the blur going to add to the picture? So <clears throat> there's this one. Now a blur in this one might make it a little bit obvious. Um, a blur in this one though might be a little um, might be a little bit better, even though it is already blurry in the background. We're going to do uh, this one though right here, just so you can really see the blur as it's getting to work, you'll really be able to see it um, as it starts getting in. So let's get into the editor. I'm going to Pixlr. All right, so I have opened up my image in Pixlr. And just to kind of go through the steps of it, you go to open image, you find your image, and you're good to go. Now, the first thing you really wanna do though before you get started is make sure that you edit your picture. So go into adjustments, bring up the bright, I like bringing up the brightness usually in most of my pictures and the contrast. Look at how much of a difference that already makes. The reds really pop in here. Um, I'm going to go into hue and saturation. I'm gonna see what happens if I bring down the saturation just a little bit. And then I'm gonna go into, um, temperature and tint. I'm going to make it a little bit warmer because it is fall. I'm going to bring up the purples just a little bit and I'm going to go into my curves and I am a fan of crushing my blacks just a little bit. So I'm going to go in here and I'm going to bring that just kind of creating a little bit of a gray. It kind of goes in with my particular aesthetic so that's what I always do. So don't forget always 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 edit your image. Now the next thing I'm going to do is, do I need everything that's in this picture? No, I do not. So I'm going to go in here and I'm going to crop my picture as well. I'm going to leave just a little bit of those in here and a little bit of those and I'm going to kind of keep it at like a um, Instagram square is what it's going to kind of fit into. But I'm going to make them center stage here. So now that I'm happy with that, I press enter and now I've got it nice and squared. So now all I have to do is blur the outside edges here. Now there are two ways you can select your blur. You can go in and you can manually blur it. So you make your brush as high as it can go and as strong as it can go and you can just go in and do it. But because it's working in a browser base and blur is a very difficult thing to actually like process, your computer is working really hard, it's gonna be very glitchy. So look at as I go, I'm brushing with one stripe and it's becoming very difficult for my brush. So just kind of be aware of that. If you go in manually, it's gonna be a little bit of a process. So what you wanna do is keep this one in mind because after you're done, you can go in and kind of perfect it with by hand, but you don't wanna blur it completely by hand. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna to go to the selector tool. I'm gonna to select the circle up here. I'm gonna make a circle around these two goobers and I'm gonna set my feather to 100. It's usually at zero. You wanna set it to 100. And the reason why is because if it is any lower than that, it's going to actually um, look like a crisp circle and you don't want it to look like a crisp circle. You want it to look nice and, uh, um, uh, nice and feathered and like gradual. You don't want it to just go circle of blur. So then if I blurred this right now, what would happen is these two would be blurred and the outside would be crisp. I want the opposite, so I go select and invert selection. And there it is, now everything else is selected. Now I go to filter and I'm gonna go to blur. Okay, here we go, filter, details, and Gaussian blur. Do not choose regular blur. Regular blur, it'll just blur it a little bit and it, it doesn't quite have the same in-camera effect. So you wanna go to uh, Gaussian blur, it makes it a little better. And you're going to slam it all the way to 100 because that is really when it starts getting noticeable. So I'm gonna push uh, apply and unselect. And as you can see, now we have like a blur vignette, but I still have these little crispies here. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna take that extra strong blur brush and I'm gonna just give a couple little swipes here and there. I'm gonna bring up the this all the way up to 100. I'm gonna give a couple little dots here and I'm just clicking. Clicking dots actually work a little bit better. So here I've got a few more. 
There we go. And I'm just getting it just so it doesn't look so much like a circle. And it just kind of breaks it up a little bit. And so that is how you can blur the background of one of your images. So that is how you can create that blurred background effect in post without having to um, understand your f-stop at all. It gives it that kind of photographic um, gooey blurry background that really draws the attention towards your main characters. So I hope you found this helpful. Uh, have fun creating blurred backgrounds.